Recently, a San Francisco archbishop rebuked Nancy Pelosi for claiming to be a devout Catholic while defending taxpayer-funded abortions. In the archbishop's statement, he said, no one can claim to be a devout Catholic and then condone the killing of innocent human life, let alone have the government pay for it. Now, during a press conference, Pelosi defended her position by saying that it's an issue of health for many women in America, especially those in lower income situations. So, you know, the first question to enter my mind was, where does Roe versus Wade draw those type of circumstantial lines? The answer is it doesn't. This renders Pelosi's statements worthless. And it's, it's a political pretension fed to those with a predisposition to gobble it up. But that's just the appetizer. There's a rep by the name of Gerard Huffman. He's out of California, go figure. He offered the following statement for further consumption. If they're going to politically weaponize religion by rebuking Democrats who support women's reproductive choice, then a rebuke of their tax exempt status may be in order. Again, I see where a lot of people with a predisposition will latch onto that. What this representative fails to realize is that certain politicians have both taken an oath to our nation and an oath to God. In Catholicism, the code of canon law is expected to be followed just as plainly as stopping at a red light. The fact is Nancy Pelosi and her kind don't handle it well when they get a ticket. George? Yeah, so I, I mean, when you listen to that to that rebuke and, and trying to make the case to make it sound as if it's somehow the Catholic Church bringing on punishment to someone, it is, okay? The reality is God is not beholden to the Constitution or the verbal gymnastics of politicians, right? The Constitution is beholden to God. So in the end, when it comes down to... When it comes down to people and Catholics, and, and I'm, you're, I'm speaking to you as someone who was 12 years of Catholic school, you know, definitely not the most devout Catholic uh, today, but, you know, had definitely gone through the ropes as far as the Catholic Church was concerned. Um, American Catholics are probably the worst example of a Christian anywhere. And that doesn't speak for every single one of them. It just speaks for them, for them as a group. All right. If you look at the way Catholics are everywhere else in the world, they're devout. They're not devout here, right? Catholics are always on this, are always, American Catholics are always sort of changing their way they think the religion should think. And, and as if somehow the religion changes with time and different political climates and, and all like the Bible doesn't change. So, you know, it's fine if you want to say, all right, you know what? The Bible's no longer in line with what I believe. And, and I don't believe any longer that it's the word of God, or I do believe it's the word of God, but I changed my mind. I'm not going to listen to God. However you want to rationalize that to yourself, you can. But what you can't do is demand that the Catholic Church change its beliefs so that it fits the political climate of today. So, well, you know, in, in the end, I was always baffled at the fact that people like Nancy Pelosi, really anyone, anyone on the left that is pro-abortion. All right. And, and I'm not this pro-choice thing. It's pro-abortion. You're pro-abortion. That's what you are. And, and in the end, if you're pro-abortion, that is fundamentally against the Catholic Church's teachings, fundamentally against Jesus Christ. Like that is something that is not wavering. That's not something you get to pick and you get to figure out. That that just is what it is. And, and in the end, you again, you don't get to play that game. Now, if you want to change your faith, like I said, then change it. All right. If you find there's a more liberal version of the Bible out there or a more liberal faith than Catholicism, knock yourself out. The Roman Catholics have been doing this one way for forever. And if they're doing it right, they're going to continue to do it one way forever because you either have faith in what they're doing or you don't. It's God who makes changes, not people.